give a parametric description for the following surface. So here we have the paraboloid, z is equal to x squared plus y squared for z greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to nine. So to get started here, what I want you to do is recall the conversion formulas from polar coordinates and spherical coordinates, or cylindrical coordinates. So we know from polar coordinates that x is defined as r cosine of theta. We also know that y is defined as r sine of theta. And we also know that the radius squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And the reason I bring this up is for this third formula. If we look at this given paraboloid, it looks similar to the Pythagorean identity defined by x, y, and the radius. So let's rewrite our paraboloid to match this formula. So we're taking this z is equal to x squared plus y squared. And this is equivalent to saying the square root of z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So if we go now and let the radius be the square root of z, then we have the radius squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, and this is such that x is going to be equal to the square root of z cosine of theta, and that y is going to be equal to the square root of z times sine of theta. So we can use this to go ahead now and parametrize in terms of u and v. So we're ready to parameterize to find that two parameter description. So I'm going to let u be theta, and I'm going to let v be the square root of z. So again, from our conversion formulas above, we know that x is defined as the square root of z times cosine of theta. We know that y is defined as the square root of z times sine of theta. And then using that we have defined the radius as the square root of z, we can say that z is equal to the radius squared. So we can take these three conversion formulas and parameterize them in terms of u and v. So the parameterization of x in terms of u and v is going to be defined here as v cosine of u. We have the parameterization of y in terms of u and v is going to be equal to v times sine of u. And then last but not least, we have the parameterization of z in terms of u and v is going to be equal to v squared. So therefore, the parametric description of this paraboloid in terms of the parameters u and v is defined as v cosine of u, we have v sine of u, and then our z component is v squared. And this is such that u is still greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 2 pi, and we can say that v is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 3. And so this is our parametric description for the provided paraboloid. And I want you to keep in mind that this is not an exclusive solution. Right? There's other ways to parametrize this, so this is just one possible way. And my last love note here, in case you're asking yourself, where did those bounds come from? So we want to keep in mind that we were given the bounds on z here, where z is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 9. But don't forget that we have defined v here as the square root of z. So with these given bounds, we can take the square root of each part of our inequality 
And since z is positive, or greater than or equal to zero, we have that the square root of z is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to three, which is equivalent to saying that v is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to three.